Welcome, everybody, to another great episode of Undress with Paul and Patrick and Little Snow White 90210 in the house in Beverly Hills, bitches. Hey, Undress bitches. I'm excited because we got a really fun special guest in the We've house. We've got Ooh. a huge uh, yes. superstar. You... I mean, J-Lo, Angelina Jolie, Ben Affleck, Brad Pitt. No, will... those people are not in the house. <laughs> Instead, we yeah, have... Know those people. Our fellow chump, we love him, you adore him, you've seen him uh, and you know him from Just Lewis Live. Uh, he is one of the co-hosts all the time and extended, Jeff Lewis extended. He is primo. Yes, we know him and love him as Doug Beauty. Doug Beauty in the house. Oh, hey here. bitches. Hey Doug. Hey guys. You got your own camera, bitch. Yes, oh, that's your camera. <laughs> Thanks for watching. How's everything? Everything's good. What is, is today Tuesday? Today's Tuesday, Today's yeah. Today's Tuesday. It's yep. been a, you know, fair to middling. The weather has finally cooled a bit, uh, which I'm very happy I know. About. Oh, let's talk right? about the fucking weather. I'm just happy about that. <laughs> I'm happy that you I'm, brought me a jar of your famous, beautiful sauce. I can't I wait home to get home and yes. take a little... Just remember, though, home. it's it's a neutral tomato sauce. So there's, it's just tomatoes, all Roma tomatoes. You'll want to doctor it up and add your Well, own I'm going to probably like put onion. And stuff? Okay. I'm going to put yeah. garlic. Yep. And I'm so probably... Maybe some basil. And I'm, I'm mm. probably going to put a little bit of Armenian red pepper. Ajvar? No. Uh, the, oh, you remember the from the Armenian remember. spaghetti yeah. recipe. Yeah. 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 Yep. I love that ajvar. It's so amazing, good. isn't yeah. it? See, I, yeah. see, before they had it at, you know, at the grocery stores, yeah. My mom and I used to make that. So we used to take the peppers. She used to get the different kinds of peppers, peel them out, hmm. wash them, and you boil them, it. cut them, put them in the sunlight. Yeah, we used to do it out. in the carport in the driveway. Oh and my then, God. And then go out the, outside and roll them over. So you know Move when you're the squirrels talking? out of the way. <laughs> yes. No. Wait, what is the difference between ajvar and pepper paste? Ajvar one is called ajvar has... and one is called pepper paste. <laughs> pepper paste is uh, hot pepper or okay. mild pepper and only one kind of pepper that you marinate. Okay. The ajvar is a combination of a few different mild and, and hot that's blended together. And mm. you turned me onto this when you came uh, to my kitchen and you cooked the Armenian and spaghetti. spaghetti. On, C- on CNK. I, on yeah. cooking kibbutz. I yep. have not heard of Ajvar. And now, of course, oh. there are some great markets that I've discovered, and they carry it. Along well, Sunland Produce, place. the Armenian market, it's one of the primo, it's like Ron's Grocery here in yeah. the Valley. Mm-hmm. They, have, uh, they have different iterations of Ajvar. And I'm, I'm going to make you that eggplant one, too. Oh, it's oh my God. So That's delish. the next C&K. You okay. got to come it's and Iman do the, We're going to do one do the, uh, eggplant. in the fall. Iman Bayanda. It's uh, so who, good. Who? They what? can come as well. I can make the each. I make the Wait each. a minute. We when do each. I get to come I on C- CNK and cook something that I can cook? Oh, God. No, don't mm. ask. Wait, that. wait a minute. Exactly. Why, why am I getting I'm this reaction, Doug? You know, Patrick, we no. all have our strengths. <laughs> yes. And, and cooking is not one of them. As soon as we find yours, we'll These two you bitches. Something. How do you know I can't cook? I know you. Oh, please. <laughs> He's seen you in the kitchen. Yeah. He knows what you do in the kitchen. Yeah. Nothing. You're in charge of the dog and the light. I am. Yes. I'm in charge of the food. You're really saying I can't cook? You Paul? can't. You can't. It's fine. Oh. You want to. You, th- you think you can. And I appreciate and respect the fact that you do. But no, I'm not. I know what our next trip is going to be. Our next trip is going to be. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> you know what? When you, an Armenian sneezes, that means An angel it's gets true. its wings. That means it's true. Oh. When they sneeze. Cook. Yeah. You know what he cooks? I, what? Taco. Well, no, I can't just no. make taco. He takes They're ground bad. beef. Yeah. He puts it in the thing and the forgets envelope. it. Oh. And forgets it. Opens okay. up the envelope and forgets it. I can make the best, the best seafood pasta. I actually can. You like my seafood pasta. Well, when we were first you, together, I made you it. You enjoy it. Oh, Paul please. and I will cook something <laughs> for ourselves. I lied that I told you I liked it. I don't even eat seafood. That's so it. You Fuck know. it. Our next trip, we're going to go to Italy, and we're going to take a cooking class. Now that- I don't know how that's going to work. That That'd be sounds cool, good. right? Yeah. I would do that. Well, that kitchen's going to close as soon as you're done with it, because there's no way. <laughs> oh, my no, God. No, no, yeah. no. I've, I've done that. I did that in Sweden. I took cooking classes you in did? Sweden. Yeah. And uh, we made- Sur la table? No, no, no. It was through this. It was a, through a program. 
We made yeah. a venison dish. We made um, some eel, which are oh, very, very his popular. His dad makes in Sweden. all that stuff. Yeah. We made we something with gooseberries. Oh, oh, it was so, it was actually really? really, really fun. Yeah. Yeah, but you understand ingredients. This one does. But I don't understand Swedish. Okay, so <laughs> this is what we're going to do. We're going to go do a cooking class in an international country. Why can't you start I a cooking that. class at home while we can all follow and then do it on Cooking Kibbutz? But That's do it. sort of what I do every I Thursday. Know what he does every Thursday and I he gives know, the recipe. But, but, if, but, but at least, in, but you add so much entertainment to value. If I want to learn how to cook, C and K is entertainment to me. Right, not, but it's because yeah. I'm not really a cook. It's more about the kibitz. I, I'm a storyteller. Yeah, yeah. And I like, you know, one of the, it's going to sound so like dumb and esoteric, but one of the inspirations was there was a great book called Like Water for Chocolate, which they turned into a movie. Oh my God, I love that. Yeah. They turned so it into a movie. It's, it's a great movie. And Al Almodovar. Almodovar. But yes. the book is this amazing novel that is also a cookbook. Oh. So each chapter is a different dish, and you have to read oh. the chapter, and by the end of the chapter, that's the recipe. Then so it would say, like, Chencha cried as she chopped 200 grams of onions, and oh. as she sauteed, <laughs> you know, three ounces of butter, yeah, yeah. she thought of da, da, da. And so you had to read the book to get all the recipes, and that's sort putting... of what I think of when oh, I do this Doug, show. Doug, like you got to put together a recipe book of the cooking kibitz recipe yeah. book. Yeah, would you do that, a cookbook? Yes. The, you know, f several people have asked me, the problem is I steal all the recipes. So it's like a, a plagiarist's collection of No, it's not. Of, of we recipes. add truffle salt, and oh. that's the <laughs> we'll make our own. If you so add truffle be, salt, then it's different. That'll be a, yes. <laughs> that's a project. I did start a cookbook about dumplings from around the world. Really? Because every culture has like a dumpling. In, in, in Jewish culture, we have kreplach, and in Japan, they have gyoza. Armenians like have dumplings right. too. Right, so that I was sort of researching all okay. the different kinds of dumplings around the world, but then right. I got bored and hungry. And how many so, dumpling, different dumplings are I there? I think I had about 19. Oh, wow. From around but the world. But it's interesting. to say that every mm. single person that's come into Cook and Kibitz and has their own recipe that they bring to your well, tradition, that's, see, that's what you I would can love. turn that yeah. into the cookbook itself where people can actually have something that's memorable that you right. signed. I so it's that. more like a chump cookbook than just a me well, cookbook. But, but you could do that. It's a cook and kibitz cookbook. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love yeah. that. A cook who, and kibitz who cookbook. Who has been your I would love that. favorite guest on CNK? Well, uh, hello, I'm sitting I really, right here. Come I really, on. Do, I really don't have. I don't. I don't you have don't. favorites. Who's I just, like the most entertaining? I have. I just have fun. I'm sitting yeah. right here. I love when you guys are on. Mm -hmm. I love when Sal comes on. Yep. I love when Carney comes on. I, it it truly is. If I. You know, if you're having fun, everybody else is having fun. Yeah. I just try to have fun. And I love that each person brings something different. And, you know, on one hand, it's fantastic when Paul is there or when Carney is there mm -hmm. or Sal yep. because you're all actual cooks in the kitchen. Like, you know what you're doing. Right. As opposed to... As opposed to me. Patrick. No, I, was bitches. it Ryan Bailey? Somebody came on. Yeah. And I took a look at how they held their knife. And, and then you're like, I just stop. got nervous. <laughs> yes. And I don't like to be nervous for yeah. somebody else because then I'm that's what I, all I'm worried about. Right. So there's there's a certain carefree attitude that I have. I'll maybe drink a little bit more when mm -hmm. I have somebody who really knows what you they're doing. You know what's interesting on the points that you just made? When I'm gonna hire someone, yeah, I give them my pair of scissors and I say, here's a piece of fabric, cut it. Yeah. And I know from the way they yeah. hold the scissors and want to be able to start cutting, I'm like, you're in or you're out. Yeah. I'm done. I can't even, I can't even think. Well, and you could just relax. Else. You could. Be. So next week, um, uh, Chef Willie is coming on now. He's a, an actual chef. Oh. And I love that because then oh. I really sit Just back. let them do yeah. all the work. He's, he does what What's he making? Make? Well, I ha we're going to make butter chicken, Indian oh, butter chicken. Yum. And, um, so we're I, coming over. Well, it's actually, I'm a little excited. I got offered a, like a brand partnership. Yes. Oh, so it's a sponsored okay. Cook and Kibbutz. So I'm very excited. Who's so sponsoring it? Can you tell us? I think I'm not supposed to talk about it until Cook and Kibbutz. Yeah, until Cook and Kibbutz. So Kibbitz. everybody's okay. going to have to tune in yeah, to you're gonna Cook and Kibbutz and see who it is. It's the first first brand partnership for somebody who Art. reached out. Wow. No, 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 no. But I'm, I'm excited. So that's this week I have Sarah Colonna Fun. and our mutual friend, Sue Murphy. They're coming on this okay. Thursday. We're doing a lemon pesto oh, uh, with yum. lemon, almonds, and Parmesan. Okay. And then next Thursday, Chef Willie, and we're going to do um, the butter chicken. I'm that's amazing. Very excited. Yum. How yeah. did you come up with the idea for C&K? So 
Uh, it was during lockdown. Okay. So we were all just home yep. in our kitchens or wherever we were, but we sure. were at home. And I had a friend whom I know knew from the farmer's market. Wait, do we need to talk about that person that we no longer talk to? Well, she, we're, we're no longer... Uh, They're not friends anymore. Friends. Who is but th this she gal She turned out I... to be a bitch. No, no, no. Oh, none, who are we talking no, about? That's not, none of that's true. That's no, all... that's not true. That's not true. I take it back. Yeah. Who are um, we talking about? There's, there was a gal that I knew from my farmer's market. Oh. And she did a tremendous favor for me. And I said, please let me return the favor. And then out of the blue, she said, you know... I would love to go on Instagram and cook with you. I said, let's do it. And okay. I said, we'll, we'll, we'll cook and we'll kibitz. I said, that's what we'll call it. And we went live. Neither of us had ever been live before. Okay. It was actually hysterical. They, they, we talked about it on the radio the next day because people couldn't see. We, you know, it was like a split screen. Yes, yes, they yes. couldn't see yeah. what we were doing. So then, and her name is Jamie. Jamie and I, after we finished... We went live again to practice where we were going to put everything. Okay. But of course, then people started watching, and the two of us were like, now move this over here. And people started watching that instead of what we had just They're done. Cooking. And then it just became a show. So, and then it week. became a thing. I, I love mean, it. A, a lot of it. Yeah. Maybe all of it, thanks to Jeff mm -hmm. and Jackie Schimmel, okay. who were very quick to cyber bully me and make <laughs> fun of it, oh, which yeah. of course got people interested. Wanted to see it. And sure. then it sort of, you know, developed its own following. And and I, you know, I do it most Thursdays and I have so much fun. Yeah. And it's also, it's a great time for me to uh, maybe finish some stories that I don't get to finish on Jeff's show because Jameson will play me off with the Oscar music. She's so. like, he's like who, who is the Who is the worst cook you've had on Cooking uh, Kevin? Oh, I, no, it could Bitch, be, I haven't been on it yet it, as a cook. It could be me. We, I've had a couple of disasters. Like, like what's your couple, worst? I did something where I, 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 Megan and I were in her house. Yeah. We took one bite. We both spat it out. It was so <laughs> disgusting. What, oh, no. It was oh so God. gross. I've had two things like that where you, okay. you take a taste. And I don't mind saying it's horrible. Like, and do you say it? You yeah, actually, I say, oh, that's no. before truffle salt oh. came around. <laughs> yes, I said, no, when I won't you publish were using this just recipe. Iodized oh salt. my God. I never, I don't ever use <laughs> never. that. Never. No, I don't use sea table salt. salt. I use coarse kosher for cooking. Yeah. And I use sea salt or a flake salt to. Uh, flake salt. And how did you um, discover the truffle salt? So I am continuing to drink. By the yes, way. do it. Your so coffee. I have so he can do your, Paul's going to do your coffee. My reading. coffee reading. I've always collected. For as long as I can remember, I've always collected salt okay. whenever I travel. I love to travel. I've been very lucky to travel with a friend of mine who, at the time, was a photographer for Condé Nast Traveler. Okay. So I got paid to travel the world with him. That's and, amazing. And he's my I want to sign up. My, oh my oldest God. friend. I mean, our mothers met when they were pregnant with us. So I've known wow. him my whole life. Okay. And he trained me to assist him. And so I started traveling the world with him. As a photographer's assistant. As a photographer's assistant. I had no idea. I don't know the first, second, or third thing about You just held the bags, basically. But I'm an actor. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, I can act like I know oh, what I'm doing. Oh, that's hilarious. And this is, like, truly, we were um, on the top of that horrific bridge in Sydney, Australia. Um, oh, yeah. Harbor Bridge, where you have to put on that weird space suit. And then Nicole went on that. We were supposed to go to Australia, and we didn't. We, we missed that trip. Who climbs up and on that? And she went so, to the top of that bridge. And they are very strict. Yeah. You, there's no metal. You can't have any metal. You go walk through these metal detectors, yeah. a breathalyzer, and you're not allowed to have anything on your body. God forbid it falls. Right. Isn't it wonderful that they gave us special permission to bring all the camera equipment? Oh, so that you have to carry. I have all this have stuff strapped on you. Strapped onto I, me, and we're climbing. And I'm I don't do heights. Yeah. So I'm already don't want to do this. Yeah, yeah. So as we're getting up and it's getting windy, and then Rick is in front of me. The photographer's in yeah. front of me. He says, um, "Pass me the 40. <laughs> I said, what, what the fuck are you talking no, about? I need to hold on to <laughs> So my that's life. what we discovered. He had he color coded everything for me. So then he would say, hand me yellow. And so oh. the the, the right lens had a yellow label. Yep. And I had to take it off. And I had to pass. Oh, was I in front passing it behind me? Where he was, I don't remember, but, but I had to pass it. But that's terrifying, right? You're at the top of the bridge doing thing, this. And it's so windy. And yeah. then he he tries to take the picture. He goes, Yeah, it's still too bright. I need the red. Have, no, I think we're going to have to hang out here for about an hour until the <laughs> sun goes down. And I put my foot down. I said, no, I started screaming. I said, I need to get off this. I need to get off this red. And we had to like back up and walk around and go back. Was it really that bad? Yeah, it was, it was 
one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Well, and if you're not used to it, it's you like climb up a ladder, right? You climb up a ladder. There's like a there's a little there's bit like of a, a ladder wire. and then a walkway, and you're tethered. Yeah. And there's a guide with you that yeah. you're, who's also he's tethered. not going to save Wait, your life. But how far is how wide is the it, walkway? It's narrower than you would want it to be, and yeah. they made us cross. Oh, so it's two spans. Yep. We had to cross over the traffic from, that's where we wanted to do the picture, is directly over the traffic. We had to cross from one span to the other, and it was, it was not good. But and if you fell, you'd be held, tethered, but that would Probably be not me. No, you're you're reading shit. about it. You'd be splattered on yeah, it the, it the wasn't good. floor. Wow. And he's extremely claustrophobic. And so wow. we were once in Madrid, yeah. and we were in an elevator, that only took one human one at, a time, at a time, and he wouldn't do it. And it wow. was like there wasn't going to be a way to get to where we had to go. Right. And I, you know, I was like, I was sort of pushing him to do it. And then I remembered he let me out of the bridge thing. I'll let him out of this thing, and I just ended up carrying all of our stuff up. It and was how long very, did you do this job for? Oh, for maybe five, six years. Wow. So how it, many countries have you been to? I think we went to no, no, no. It wasn't. It wasn't like a full time thing. There isn't three hundred countries to begin. There with. isn't. No, sure there there are. There is countries. There? There how many countries yeah. there how are? Many, there ha Somebody asked. I know Siri. the risk. Game. I don't know. I know. I know yeah. how many. <laughs> there on there has to be. Anyway, all of this to say yes. that on all these trips, I would always come home with salt from whatever oh, country wow. or city we were in. Does it taste and different? so really? the, it does taste different. It really does. But I thought it's they all also came from the same place. Wait, no, wait, is it, it is it a Paul trick stolen off of a table or you actually purchase it? No, 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 because I don't I don't use table salt. Oh. I purchase local salt. Got Just it. like I go to the even if I'm going to the grocery store. Yeah, yeah. But it's, Doug, I don't know what's in the the little thing. I don't <laughs> it's know if it, it's on the table, but I have it, no idea what. The, I don't use that the, salt. The shaker, I just get yeah, the, the shaker. shaker. <laughs> I'm just I'm just yeah. happy to be able to collect things that exactly. I like. And some people collect shot glasses. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. I don't need a shot glass. But but if I'm gonna make my Swedish potatoes. I use the salt that I took home from Stockholm, and I'm remembering oh, that trip. I love that. So it's something nice. that's a little bit romantic for me. Very so nice. how many countries have you been to? You been I don't know. I've never done that thing. We've been to I, 76 countries. 79. I, I have not been 79, to babe. anywhere near 79. that many. 79. Okay. I haven't been to I guess San Diego either. counts as a country. No, I had to do my... I, when, we, when we did our updated passport, we had to renew our passport... You have to list oh, for all like the countries the you've been to. Global and entry. It's oh. That's why I, I know. But okay, here's a question because yeah. my, a couple of friends that I always talk about this. What constitutes visiting? Certainly not transferring just to, from airport no. to airport. No, 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 so no. Spending no. overnight. Sleep, uh, Staying one, overnight. One overnight. At yes. least one overnight okay. in that country. I'm going to do a But count. we've been more than yeah. one overnight in any of the countries. Right, yeah. but 79 we that we've visited. That's amazing. And stayed at. Yeah. I've probably been to. 30 or 40. Wow. No, you've done more than I that. Don't, I don't think so. I, I'm going to take well, a we're look. we're on a plane every other day, so yeah. we don't yeah. care. You do, you do a tremendous amount of traveling. We do I, a lot. There's still so I many I didn't places. go to Mexico until COVID. Where do you want to go? What what haven't you been to that you want to go to? Um, India? Yes. Well, we've been to India. Egypt? We've been to Sri Lanka. Oh, you did. We've yeah, been to Sri Lanka. But, but, but we haven't been to India. India. Yeah. And Africa. Uh, we've only uh, been to Morocco. Africa, we haven't been to but, but, Africa. Um, also. Africa and South Africa, too, no? Yeah, I but really want to go to South. Yeah, Africa. South Africa. Um, that's South Africa. But uh, Egypt. Oh, and Egypt. Well, that's. Well, I've been to Egypt. Yeah, what about but I was very uh, little? The Cynthia Bailey February trip. Yeah, we're uh, thinking, we're, about, we're thinking it. about it. <laughs> I am too. I I actually wrote to them about um, what the single supplement is because you know they quote a price, but then yeah. usually if you're traveling alone, it's is double. it for double? The price the eight thousand is yes, for two people. No, no, no. No, it's one it's per, per person. person. Based on double occupancy, right? Uh, so you right. would each pay eight thousand. But if I'm going right. as a single, I'm not paying a dollar. I'm going to make his bitch. <laughs> if I'm going as it. a single, it's it's considerably more because there's a, a supplement fee uh, if you travel as a single. Then okay. bring somebody with you. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, How about Monica? I I, I don't. I, I gotta. I'm a uh. little concerned about going to Egypt. At the moment, really, someone else said that too. But yeah. I wanna, we want to go. Well, my actually. passport says I'm from Kuwait, so you know they're gonna pat me down. Um, yeah, definitely. So I ain't invited. Not I'm me. going as an uninvited guest. <laughs> yeah. Have you been to Israel? I've not been to Israel. Oh, Israel in fact, is God. amazing. There were two. No, there were three Condé Nast trips that I had to say no to because I was working here. Yeah. One of them was to Israel, and 
you know, it's, when, it's when I was bar mitzvahed, my parents gave me a choice back in 1982. They okay. said you could either have like the money a or fancy, Israel, <laughs> a fancy trip to Israel, or you could have the party where you're going to party with the, the cash. I was like, yeah, I want the party. You yeah. the the money, right? Right, but the my, at the time, I was like, I'll collect all the money and I'll and just then do I'll a go cheaper to trip. Myself. Myself. Exactly. But I never went. And then I was offered to go with Condé Nast Traveler, and I couldn't go. Israel is one of those magical oh places my God. that you have to We've go been to. A couple times. We've yeah. been but twice. if you go to Israel, see have you been to Peru? No, I've never been to South uh, America. Oh my God. Look, Peru there's a whole list of countries. There. We went we climbed the top to Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. It was purpose. amazing. Oh, you gotta go. Why? Yeah. There's oh, no see. oxygen. Oh, well, there is well, cocoa you, leaves. Well, we took the bus. You take a bus all the way up and you curve it's and you amazing. go all the way up and it's ridiculous. And when they when they're taking the bus up. The the road is so one narrow. One of the tires yeah. is off the cliff. The, I, I the tire that. is literally you don't have a hanging. You're, you're yeah. strapped in off the cliff as you're going up. It's, I, I, it's, it's insanity. I, I remember. And their <laughs> windows are so big <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, you, that it comes all the way down I, to your yes. to uh, your knees, so you could see the cliff. Yeah, and I'm I afraid of heights insane. too. I was in China and we were driving. We had a driver, thank God. Uh, yeah. And just on the highways in in and out of Beijing. Yeah. Where the the cars, there's like eight cars yeah, on yeah, four yeah. lane. Yeah. Yeah. I had to close my eyes for most <laughs> that's of like the, the car Philippines. Rides. Have, have you been to the Great Wall of China? Yeah. See, we haven't been, but and that's I where went, we want to go. We went We've to a seen remote, it, but we haven't. We went to a remote access point. It was about a four hour drive. Okay. And we were the only Americans there. And it was, I mean, it was pretty incredible. Yeah. You had to take a, a cable car and then a a pretty serious hike. Oh. And when we finally got up to the top, yeah. it, was, it was like a bunch of guys playing cards. It was, it was all this stuff. <laughs> it was all locals, fun. basically. It was yeah. all locals. I love it that. Was, it was incredible. That was have, amazing. When we go to China, you're going to have to tell us where, because I want to go to that. Yeah, we had a great guide. Nice. Um, and, a, and this driver, Mr. Sher. <laughs> and, you know, sure. you have to be very careful how you say, because the same word, you pronounce it five different ways. It has five different meanings. Right. So we were briefed that our driver, Mr. Sure, you had to say sure. Not because sure. Sure is one thing. Sure means something else. <laughs> so it, you have to be very precise how you say it. And oh you my haven't gosh. even been to Turkey. No. Nope. Former Not Armenia. Yet. Oh my God. Turkey is beautiful too. Istanbul. I, it's on my list. You know what? You have to go to Ephesus. Ephesus yes. is one of the Ephesus, most incredible places. Like in where, uh, where yeah. Mark Anthony and Cleopatra, we walked. Their, yeah. I, there is, I have such a huge list. Listen, I, I have never been to Sheboygan. Like, there's a lot of places here oh, in the Sheboygan. U.S. I've never go been to. to. Sheboygan. There's places, we haven't been either. <laughs> there's, there's places in, in this country that I haven't been to, and there's places I really want to go back. Yeah. You know, it, it takes time and takes money to travel, and so yep. I do have a very robust We need to sell list. your jars of tomatoes. <laughs> yes. We need to start selling. You need to start marketing mm. that stuff and yeah. selling them. I want to talk about your acting career. Oh. Because Jeff That'll always be makes short conversation. Jeff <laughs> always makes fun of your acting career. Yes. But I saw you in an episode of Two Broke Girls. Yes. Wearing this god awful wig. That was you, right? Yes, that was me. I knew it was a you. Big blonde. <laughs> A big blonde yes. hair piece. It was so much. Fun. That was the only time I've ever worked with a piece, and I wish I kept it because it was so fun to have that. Right. Like it just changes how you carry yourself. You know, yeah, yeah. Wearing and that. you worked with both of the main actresses. How was that? Yeah, well, was they a, looked like a, they would be the sweetest girls. It was. I worked with them, but also I had a lot to do with Jennifer Coolidge. Real? That, oh, yes. Oh, right. We had Jennifer a lot of because she was in the show before. We had a lot of physical stuff to do yeah we had st i had a stunt guy and she had a stunt gal yep and we did the table read we did a couple of mm -hmm. camera rehearsals and then they introduced us to our stunt team and jennifer said no doug doug and i are going to do our own stunts <laughs> i said we are she goes, i mean how bad could it be let's just figure it out and right the stunt guy was so nice he came over to me he said listen my job is to make sure that you're comfortable. Safe. He said, so if you, he's like, you don't have to embarrass yourself in front of everybody. He said, just give me a look. Yeah. And I will say, I can't let this guy do this, you know? Right. I mean, it and involved Jennifer Coolidge, me, she's awesome, right? She, she is. We had, the, it involved me like falling on, on an air mattress <laughs> and she had to fall on top of me. I spent much of the week 
with Jennifer Coolidge's boobs in I my mean, face. I mean, you and her are like this <laughs> we now. Had, I mean, you're tight. We had the best time. And the, yeah. the president of CBS came over yep. uh, to chat with her. And he said, you know, how's it going? And she goes, I don't think Doug likes women very much. And it's, like, it's just... <laughs> Giving me all this shit. I knew that was you. I was like, I yeah. know that's Doug. That's so crazy. Because gr- Jeff always talks about friends and all, but he and switched it birth, but he never brings up two broke girls. Yeah, and two you broke had a girls. big role yeah, that in that. Gr- that was a, such a great week of work. <laughs> do you I, yeah. still get residuals? I do. I, I, get res- I still get residuals Three from cents. Charmed. <laughs> the original oh God, Charmed. Charmed. Oh, my first before job, the reboot. Yeah, my first job in LA was actually Frasier. I did an episode of Frasier. I still get checks from that. Wait, what did you do on Frasier? On Frasier, I worked at the gourmet food store okay. where they go to get their dog food, Bon Appetit. Oh. And the guy's name is Robert. He's this French guy. And I had a, a fun scene. And that was my first audition in L.A. And I booked it. And so I... I mean, that I was, was your like, very first audition in LA, in LA yeah. in your first booking. Yeah. And I was like, That's oh, amazing. this is going to be so easy to right. get work here. But, yeah, yeah. you know, it's- and here you are with us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been kind of shitty, right? Been, oh, my it's God. It's been slow. If are you, you have to sit with us. Oh, I mean. shut up. Are you still acting? You are. Right? Yeah, of course. I have He's not- pretending. So, to what's me? the last have, audition you did? Uh, well, I have one this evening. Okay. I had an audition last week for the show Ted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, with Seth MacFarlane. Yep. I, I had not can, can, can yeah. I tell you how commendable it is for you to be able to even do it now and have an entire studio set up where you could do the. It's all virtual, the, right? You don't go into a lot But I don't like that. I like I being can't in the room. Stand it. It's very difficult. I hate nothing. Every time in the he room. tells me we have an audition, I go, just fuck it. I, like I hate it. it. I it, cannot stand yeah. this shit, and I can't even explain how much. You and can't, why. you know. One I the, don't know. Why. You don't connect I, with them. I well, can't get there. into it. One of the one of the issues that I find about self taping is that you you can't get an adjustment. Like it's nice to be able to do it for the producer or the director, right. and they could say, "Oh, I like what you were doing. Can you do it this way or whatever?" Exactly. And in fact, last year for the Frasier reboot, mm-hmm. I had an audition. It was pouring rain it was already nighttime and i had yeah. to go to a friend's house because that's the other thing is you need to have a friend with patience yes to, and you have to set of up course. your studio so me. i put the whole thing on tape it's like three scenes a recurring role great role did you get a call back and um well i, I was going straight to producers oh. so i you did know, the he's tape got an in with people well <laughs> that's also because i'd worked on the show and it's I the mean, same. He, him so you didn't book it jennifer though. coolidge are like well, that what of i was gonna say is so i Go to my friend's house in the yep. rain. I we put the tape. I go back to my house. I edit the tape. I send it to my agent. My agent uploads it. I get a call from the casting director. I already watched your tape. Do you think you could make one adjustment? And so then I had to put my suit back on, oh, no. drive back over to my friend's. <laughs> it took like six hours in total. Right. Where had I just been in the room, yeah, you would have been. He could have said, he could have said, hey, right. could you just try it this yeah. way? Ultimately, I, I didn't book it. It went to a woman. Mm. Um, oh God. We, we um we went to the Fraser Fraser reboot uh screening premiere. And met all the cast, yeah. hung out with all of them. They are the coolest people. They're English, you know. And They're the, not even American. And it's really interesting because we wa- when we went, I had I knew about the Fraser Group, but we'd never seen it. Yeah. And then when we watched the screening, I was like, "This is really good. They yeah. really did a nice reboot." It's, of yeah, it. But, it, but it's not as good without Doug in it. No, <laughs> I agree. It would have been so I much agree. better if Doug but was in so there. So many people returned, you know, all, in, yeah. including yeah. the casting director. Yep. Yeah. But I, you know, it is they were. It was my first job. Yeah. They were so kind to me. It set such a high bar that that was my first job in right, LA. Yeah, right out of the gate. And they, they knew it was my first sitcom, yeah. my first live sitcom. They each, they took me out for lunch. So that's how you that got first SAG, day. your SAG card. No, I was already SAG. I, I, oh, you were. I joined SAG in 1989. Oh, my I was God. I did, I did a lot of uh, commercials <laughs> In uh, New York, <laughs> Doug just flipped him and off. I, I did a show. I did a, a, one TV show in New York, and I did a lot of commercials in okay. New York. Doug, you know yeah. when I got off the bus from Oklahoma, <laughs> and I just came all the way to uh, Los Angeles, and Hollywood said, "Hey, and you," I said, and I said, "Hey, <laughs> darling, I love this today. Oh my I got God. my first recording rap. I thought it was going to be easy. I really did. I yeah. was like my first audition, and I they booked it. They put me it. in the like, back of a so then you felt like, off. okay, I'm on this. I'm just going to yeah. book everything. And then what happened? And here he is, my mom. <laughs> Shut I, up, Bob. I, I did a pilot for a series for yeah. ABC, and I bought a house. 
Okay. Uh, and then the pilot didn't go, and oh. I, I still had a mortgage. And at the time- Is that the house you're in now? The house I'm in now. Okay. At the time- you ABC bought you your house, at least it wasn't OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, it well, could be worse. You could have bought the house with OnlyFans. Uh, who cares? The money is green. Right? That's true. The thing is, I also sold my apartment in New York City, because I owned my apartment. Oh, okay. And the co-op board oh, made me I sell forgot it. But so. now you're I, probably regretting that you didn't hang on to that, because they'd they be worth gazillions no. right the now. The board required 90% owner occupancy. Occupancy, yeah. and I sublet uh, illegal or legally yeah, yeah. through the board. I had to give the board at my co-op thirty percent fee every of the month. rental every month. Don't you I, hate I those co-ops? Who comes from money. Those co-ops totally yeah. suck. The worst. I forgot. So uh, I, you know, I continue to work, but certainly the industry has changed tremendously yeah. in the last. Yeah, don't let anybody do you, in the door anymore. Do you think? Um, <laughs> Do you think we're ever going to go back to in the room with casting and so producers? I, I don't think it's ever going to go back to the way it was. That said, yeah. um, even so, I, this audition I have that I'm going on tape for tonight, yep. there, the SAG, the, the new agreement, requires that casting holds a limited number or a minimum of number casting of in, in person. person. So my agents right. emailed me yesterday to, to, you know, did I want to have an appointment in the room? I said, yes. Yeah. By the time we got back to them, all the appointments were already. If they understand me and they say, oh, put this on tape and I'm going to submit it, I, I think you're right for this role. I'm so eager to do it. Yeah. Yeah. But just the random things that he makes me do, oh, smile like this, do that. Oh, because I don't know if they're going to like that. What he doesn't, I'm like, I don't okay. give a shit then. Doug, because what he doesn't fucking understand, and you understand because you are an actor, <laughs> you understand I'm that they give you the fucking instructions. They yeah. say, smile, do a, do a, 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 a profile. For a commercial or for a, <laughs> for a, a commercial? Show. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he hates it. A commercial's just technical. And he hates it. I'm like, but but if everybody's doing the same thing, <laughs> what about my profile that they don't like it's, that they can't see in the front of me? It's <laughs> listen. It, with com commercials are the worst, the yep. most demeaning. Yes, because it's it's literally they're like I didn't like his eyebrow, <laughs> just the one, but it's enough, and that's it. And you go to they don't have callbacks; they have yes. allbacks. You see everybody you audition with. Yeah, and then as you know, I'm a character actor. Right. It it is when I tell you. For real, I've had messages from my agent. Um, you're going to be the rear end of a dancing cow. Call, call to confirm. <laughs> you're a giant deflating volleyball. Call to confirm. Like these things right. that we yeah. have they to do. They called for a real designer. <laughs> yeah. They oh. called for someone who is legitimately in the industry. That's a stretch. He they got an audition for it, though. For yeah. someone that knows yes. how to do illustration. Uh. They called for someone who's flamboyant, who <laughs> he can. He didn't book it. I did not book he it. He did not. A book homeless it. guy got the who, job. Who booked it? Did you ever see it? Yes. Yeah. Because sometimes they, they go didn't in know a totally how to do illustration. Direction. Some random old yeah, you man who up. didn't even understand how to do anything. Yeah. When I walked into the room, they go. Oh my fucking god! When they told me to do illustration, <laughs> I said, "Here's a sketch of a gorgeous gown," and they looked at me like, "What? Crap? I can't hire so, this people, guy." People just lie. I did a commercial for a, was that a pharmacy hundred yeah. years ago, and they said, "Do you You're type?" And I said, well, "Of course I type." Right. But I didn't have to type, and I booked the spot. I didn't have to type. I mean, it's yeah. like maybe at one iteration they had somebody sitting. But at the a commercial computer. was, "We want a real designer." It I was didn't very get the specific. Job. I'm like, he's a fucking real designer. Well, Christian Siriano was great in that commercial. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch. bitch. That bitch. That's it. That's the other thing is when you I see when yeah. you see how it comes out and who they really yes. booked. Or, but I saw you know. the other people that were even there in the room, yeah. and I'm thinking <laughs> to myself. You don't look like a designer. You're wearing Walmart. What's the what's, bad version well, of it? That's what's the bad? worst I mean, audition? No, but they were like, for. it wasn't even designer. Worst role. The the that I uh, in an audition. Yeah. Oh, there have been way too many. Really? I, yeah. You know, I'm. Uh, I sometimes I get very nervous. I was at an audition. It was a callback at Warner Brothers, mm -hmm. and I went, <laughs> went to the bathroom. Yeah. There were like there were like ten people in front of me, so I went to the Is bathroom. I want him to take one more. And oh, I one more splashed second. water all over my crotch. Oh, so no. it looked like I had peed in my pants. Right. So I, I went back out. I was like, okay, I still have a few more people. I took my pants off and I put it in front of the, the dryer. The air oh, dryer. Yeah, the air dryer. Yeah, it was oh like a market. God. And it was very hot. Yeah. And I got all flustered and I went into the room. Yeah. And I said something so <laughs> dumb that was insulting to the casting director. Oh. 
And as I said it, I was like, this is not coming out the way I wanted it to. Yeah. And the room got silent, you know, and I was there to read for a comedy role and it got very quiet. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not getting this. Like, I'm just. And you didn't book it. Didn't book it. <laughs> well, I was a designer. I didn't book it. Wait, what did you say to the casting director? I don't want to repeat it. It was, oh. it was just a dumb, it was. It like trying like to be dumber. funny? Yeah, I was trying to be funny. Just but they didn't like, take it that way. It didn't It land. didn't sit. And you yeah. know how sometimes as you're saying something, you're yep. like, this is not landing or it's not coming out how I yeah, wanted yeah. to. It was that. It's that like was his terrible. When he had, his and I had something. once a callback yep. in front of Luke Perry. Oh. Uh, for 90210. 90210. Yeah, And he passed away. They, uh, my yeah. agents gave me the address, yep. and that is not where the callback was being held. The callback uh. was actually being held on set right near LAX. And I went to their, like, Sun the Valley thing. Or so oh, now no. I'm racing to yep. make it to the callback. And I got there, and I could tell that I've been sweating, and I smelled. <laughs> and I was like, oh don't God. lift your arms. Right. And... Luke Perry was like, nice to meet you, you know, and as I lifted my arm, like, I had a huge sweat stain, and I smelled myself, and I was like, hi, it's really good. Like, you know, and then, of course, I looked yeah. like I'm really it's physically like the email awkward. you got from Patrick for today. And the one that I never got. That's I forgot one. to put the, okay, in my defense, nope. as Jameson would say. Jameson's not here. <laughs> yeah, Jameson's in my not defense, the board. I forgot to put the dot com after your Gmail. Yes. And I, if I, I realize Gmail, that. Who knows what yeah, kind of. Who, uh, who or Yahoo kind of, or, a, or AOL. I don't know if my, it's my a Gmail. Space box. Yes. I, <laughs> I can but, tell you three other hookers <laughs> showed up. <though>. I, <laughs> but I knew where I was going. Yeah, exactly. And you confirmed with me, which is great. Exactly. Yeah, and we knew we were. we're and, we, and we definitely knew. Because he's we diligent were, like that. He confirms. Okay. And we knew we were we were doing this. So it's fine. Um, Comedy. Would you ever do stand-up comedy? No. Never. I did, it, well, I did it once for the gay chorus. Okay. I want to do asked, stand up comedy. Is, that is when I. That is the scariest fucking no way. thing ever. It so is. So tell not, me about it. What happened when it you is, did it? I had a bunch of jokes, and I was like, I'll just sort of figure it out. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, the, the, I had my my set. Yeah. And it was it was crickets. It was, <laughs> and then you start you get flop sweat, and yep. I was wearing a tuxedo, and my cummerbund. <laughs> yeah. Unhooked and popped. That got the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that was like that was real. It was it was one wow. of the worst things. That said, Mrs. Maisel does comedy, it, well, <laughs> right? And it's written by professional oh, comedy right. You know, and I, I went and saw Sarah Colonna. I saw Zach Noe Towers. Yeah, I usually don't like to see comedians do stand up. I get very tense and nervous for them. Fortune Feimster, same thing. Yeah. Um, Can I tell you that they wanted me to write for Jay Leno? To did. write what? Jokes the years jokes ago, for they Jay wanted to do it. Long well, time ago. Maybe but, it's yeah. best you stay in your in lane. fashion, oh right? That's what I said. Thank Bye you, it. Doug. But Finally, someone that fucking agrees with me. What I was gonna say is, now that I'm doing that, the the dos amigas. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I have. But you're in, on in stage some, with No, no, them. no. But in some locations, there's nobody with us. Like when we were in Philadelphia, so I have to work the room with the microphone. While I'm on the microphone, yeah. because we don't have somebody the but way you guys do the Q and A. Yeah, I know. So I but... do a lot of crowd work. Okay. And that I find a lot of comfort in the comedy with the crowd, yep. but not standing on stage L doing stuff. Let's stand talk I about do Dos it. Amigas, because it started as Trace Amigas, it right? Did. It sure did. Sure <laughs> and they did. did how many shows did you do with Trace Amigas? I did two. I did two shows in Phoenix okay. with the Trace Amigas. And then they split. Well, yeah. let's be realistic. He stole Jameson's job. Well, Jameson did one with them and Jameson Brea. Oh, Jameson it. did one show? Jameson yes, did, and he was great. Ja well, right, but Jameson and took over. And he didn't over, even let Brandon show up. Jameson took over from the first guy who did it. Oh, who mm. did that There was one? somebody else we don't care first. Okay. So there was somebody else first, then Jameson. But Jameson, and Jameson was great, yeah. Yeah. but Jameson couldn't go on the road he because he's a full-time employee at right. Sirius. So, because there's days you'll miss radio you mean because you're on the road. Job? Yeah. That's serious? He has a real job. Oh, he has but a real Shannon job. went that night that uh, we all went in Brea. Yeah. Shannon said to me, she's like, Can you learn the show? Because we'll want you to go on the road. And Jameson knew about it too. Right. So um, we. So Shannon offered you the job. Yeah. And that's oh. because I had you, never met Tamara in person until oh. that night. Oh, you're kidding no, me. No, we had DM. You she knew Vicky. I, no, I had never met really? Vicky either. You never met Vicky either? No. Just Shannon. Just, Just Shannon. Shannon. Yeah. And how did you get along with Tamara? Oh, great. Yeah. Tamara and I, we had never met, but she reached out randomly on Instagram mm -hmm. about, she had a question about gardening. 
oh. and tomatoes. <laughs> right. So she reached out to me, and then I she made some video where you know how these people do these videos. Like everybody's asking me about my skin root. You know those like yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, nobody's yeah. really asking. Yeah. She did this video <laughs> that was just so that's my life. So ridiculous, <laughs> and it was about her skin. Yeah. And I was just, I was in my bathrobe when I watched it. And I said, I'm going to mock her. So I took a towel and I made a <laughs> turban and I took my oh, electric I sander. That one. Yes. I took a san- my sander <laughs> and I sent her a video like me doing Tamra with my belt sander or whatever. And then she <laughs> sent me, so we just, that was our whole relationship. So I right. never met her until we were on stage there in Brea. And, did and did you know fun. that they were going to like, no, Tamra the, was going to be gone? It was and- because of Doug. Oh, no, that's he not came true. between all of no. them. the last with the second show we did in Phoenix. Yeah, we all went out for dinner after, and it was like, "Hey, we're gonna go on the road. We're gonna send you some dates." And I said, "Great." Yeah. And I went home, and I then cleared the calendar. I went home, and then they sent me some dates. I said, "This is great." Yeah. And then about a week later, I got an email saying, "Well, Tamara is no longer doing it. We're just gonna do it." With the two of us, and I said, "Okay, right." And then um, that doesn't know, screw up my paycheck, we, does it? We, of course, I was concerned. No, but we reworked the show. It's a different show from the. But Trace now your Vegas. face is on the posters. Yes, and that's the, true. Because it wasn't before, right? It was it was no, Shannon, it was the, no, it Vicky, was just and Tamara. He got a promotion, and now we see your face on yes. there, which is really cute. Yes, I love that. Amigas, Ida. Your Armenian coffee okay. read. Paul has done your reading before, yes. a couple times before. Co- I think two. Doug. Yeah, a couple times before. Oh, so I hate, don't start before. Wait, before Lund. you start the reading, we have to explain to our listeners, especially some new listeners. Paul has now got Doug's cup. He's going to look into the coffee grinds, and he's going to tell him what he sees. And you can book your copy read at Paul at you dot com. That's P O L A T T E U dot com. Log on, bitches. Pull over. What time of the year is this now for you that there's something sentimental that happened at this time of the year that every single year that rolls around, you get this pit in your stomach about? Well, pro- I mean, I, I'm, I'm very old, but it's back to school time. I mean, that's, I still think of fall as back to school, but no, what? I don't know. No. Something personal in your life. Something personal oh. in your life that has to do with something that you remember every year around this time of the year. It's not back to school. I, I truly, I mean, I, I'm so ritual uh, focused in so many aspects of my life that I can't think of one that's around Did somebody around now. pass away at this time of the year? Uh, Did someone no. um, break up with you this time of the year? Was, it's got to be something that's so... I, I, tr- I, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Again, like so many... Labor Day weekend for me is, is always about making tomato sauce. Mm-hmm. This We're almost at Rosh Hashanah, which is always in the fall. Like there's a lot of things that happen every year, but I can't think of something like... Specific. Something specific. Think of it. You will. Because whatever this is that happened yeah. at this time of the year, and you can go back like 45 days prior, 45 days Well, that's the thing, you know, after. Both times you've done a real reading for me, it wasn't until you uh, left until that you started a couple something. of days later that I that I was able to, to rem- piece it together. Figure out what yeah. you were And that happens all the time. On. Yeah. You'll figure it out. Because something that happened. Yeah that you haven't resolved yourself to in some capacity Mm. is coming back in a way that you need to be able to not end it, but address it for yourself. So if there's, Mm. so like when somebody passes away, you have to do food or whatever for their soul or do a prayer or a commemoration. Mm. Whatever this is, you have to do it. Because there's an eye on you. When I was making the coffee earlier. Yeah, that's what you said. Yeah. When, there, when I was making the coffee, it's interesting. There, was an, there was an eye. When an eye boils up in the coffee, and I'm you know, doing the ritual three times back yeah. and forth, when the eye boils up and it stays there, even when I'm mixing it, that means you have to come to terms with whatever this is in order for you to be able to pop the eye right. and allow them to find their peace as you find the peace within yourself for it. Mm. All right, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to think about what it could be. You've got a major project coming your way. 
that I don't think you had planned for. Okay. Something that has to do with a job. With a job? A job. Like okay. a project. Okay. This project is going to get you yeah. to a stage that you're going to be going, oh, I like this. I belong here. Okay, good. I've wanted this. This like is something this. that I have been manifesting. Nurturing. and ma- Okay. Yes. Mm. And it's going to come from a very un- unsuspected place. Okay. Because you're not, it's not It's not like, something that I'm seeking right now, you're saying? No, you're not applying mm. for it. Okay. You're not looking for it. But then it's just going to, you're going to get the phone call and you're going to be like, this is random. Hello. Oh my God. That was the best fucking call of my life. Okay. When? When? What time? Like it's coming very okay. soon. Soon. Mm. Very like soon. This. Because the very soon that I'm talking about is because you've been doing it. Because you've put it out there, you just didn't even expect it. But oh, now it's going to be interesting. so much more than what you thought it would be Okay, when it does happen. This I like. Yeah, me too. It's Usually a, you're telling I, me such shitty news. Uh, this I, so far, yo, this it's is okay. a really, yeah, but th- that's because you gave me shitty shit, shit to have to tell you. This is a good shit. Okay. But that's only because wow. I'll tell you something else when I'm looking at the interior because you drank from my side. Because you're left-handed. I yeah, so when I'm looking at the interior, you've cleared the frequency for things to come through to you in a different capacity that you're not holding on to anymore. Which is something you had me working on the last reading. Yeah. You gave me some very specific instructions. You said I needed to clear the path, blah, 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 mumbo jumbo, blah, right. blah. But you did. I did. Yeah. So you're saying it, it the, worked. The path. Because the color is different. The texture is different. The layers are different. Mm. And the path looks like it's been opened up to receiving. See, before, you had a block. Mm -hmm. You weren't letting yourself receive. And even if it was in front of you, you weren't going to be able to notice it or understand it or feel it or get it. Right. Now, you're almost as if you're allowing it to come through. You're opening up the door to opportunities mm. for it to Good. be seen. I love this. Maybe there's a relationship on the way. You still have some work to do, though. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> you still have some work to do. But, but the initiative of even starting it allows the frequency to, to relate to it and start filing through. Mm. Great. <laughs> You're let's, like, shut up. Like, let's stop don't there. Work let's anymore. Stop there. This has been Doug Newton with Patrick and Paul <laughs> and Snow White 90210. <laughs> it's funny. Mm-hmm. What's the wish, the one wish that you have? Don't tell me. I don't want you to share it with me. Okay. You have a wish. Yeah. I want you on the full moon. When is the full moon? September 17th, I think. Oh, really? On it's the coming full, up. On the full moon. Is it Sunday? No. Friday's the 13th. Saturday's the 14th. I think it Sunday's is. Sunday's the 15th. Monday's the 16th. Tuesday's the 17th. Whatever day it Sorry. is. <laughs> yeah. Full moon. Yeah. I want you to get a wishbone. Like from a chicken mm-hmm. or a bottle of dressing? Okay. No. A chicken. Chicken. Okay. The real wishbone. Yeah. Go to Costco, get your five dollars. I'll get a chicken, chicken. Bone. a wishbone. Yeah, wishbone. And when you look at that moon, the full moon at the time that the full moon starts, September seventeenth at ten thirty four p.m. So at ten thirty four, oh, I'm gonna have to stay awake. EDT. Late. What's EDT mean? Eastern, which means seven thirty four p.m. Pacific. Okay. Seven thirty four. Okay. So when Eastern daylight time. Oh. So when <laughs> the full moon yeah, starts, seven thirty four p.m. Within within an hour. Okay. But only after, not before. Got it. It has to be completed. Mm. Got it. And what am I doing with the bone? <laughs> you're going to look <laughs> at the moon. Yeah. You're going to make your wish loudly. Okay. You're going to cut Verbally, the bone. he says it out loud? Yes. Okay. And I break the wishbone left hand, right hand? Yes. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Because when you do this, what it's going to do is it's going to respond back to you and deliver what you're I will do it. For. 
Put it in the in the same email. There's instructions. <laughs> and I'll do it. Don't in the Gmail, him. AOL, Yahoo. Exactly. <laughs> do you have a trip coming up? Yeah, I mean, not a big trip. Who are you going with? Alone, just to New York alone. Oh, that's the trip you were talking about where you're going to go see the 55-year-olds uh, that graduated yes, at the college? Yes, oh. yeah. I mean, the Quakers. Yes. Mm. You're going to meet with someone. Okay. You're going to see someone. It's going to rekindle something. Okay. That you had either missed mm. or forgotten. Like a friendship? It's a little more than a friendship. Oh. Did you hook up with any Quakers? I don't remember. <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> I mean, those are friends from high school. But these are people that I've known for a long time. Yeah. You, it's it's going to take you back to a space and time when you're going to realize that there is something more. Mm -hmm. And you're going to come back with a different set of confidence. Okay. And it's not just the confidence you're lacking, mm. a different sense in a stride or a different sense of being who you are. Okay. Well, great. Does that make sense? Sure. It's really nice. This is a good cup, Bye actually. Now. This podcast is brought to you by Her Dat Media and American Media Television. Executive producers are Patrick Simpson, Paula Tu, and Pat Safford. Produced by Jordan Hill and Sarah Silicuda. Shooting and editing by Jordan Hill. Music and theme song, Undressed, written and performed by Lionel Cohen, courtesy of DNA Productions. Artwork by Dominique Demetz. And hosted by Pola 2, Patrick Simpson, and Little Snow White 90210. Remember to follow at Pola 2 and at Patrick Simpson and at Snow White 90210. And watch Gown and Out in Beverly Hills on Prime Video. And don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast so you never miss an episode.